Hi, I'm Michael Allen, Director of Parks and Natural Resources with Carmel Clay Parks and Recreation. 2020, the year that kept chasing its tail. Well, we've made it through and it feels like we're still chasing our tail. But we've been evolving faster and while priorities narrowed when we navigated some of the most challenging months of the year, I'm excited to report that the parks maintained safety as a top priority again while completing 585 playground inspections. The knowledge and experience that has developed in our team translated very well while reviewing new playground designs, surface installation elements, and improvements to existing sites, and allow us to keep safety and long-term maintenance priorities at the center of these discussions. As we collaborated to reimagine our parks, we adapted with technology tools in many new ways that I'm sure some of you have become accustomed to, whether working remotely or becoming a substitute teacher at your own home. With this evolution to maintain basic responsibilities with microphones and cameras, it has allowed us to continue moving parks forward. We know as improvisation occurs and daily routines adapt, it's easy to lose sight of the standards we've come to take for granted. But I'm grateful that the systems we have in place as foundational elements of our sustainable maintenance practices have assured cleanliness in our parks is of utmost importance. In order to respond to the health and safety challenges of 2020, we installed 28 new hand sanitizer dispensers across our parks and utilized 70 gallons of disinfectant. Doing these added safety measures, we were still able to assure that inspections and routine cleaning continued on schedule while completing over 2,500 work orders. We quickly realized that parks would be a refuge, an outdoor escape from the calls to stay out of indoor public spaces. To support this added presence, we focused on trail safety by mitigating over 200 overhead tree hazards. And as public awareness grew and the weather cooperated, we were able to execute seven unique pollinator stewardship projects that offered the community a refreshing change of pace to focus on nature and help us take care of improving quality habitat restoration. Our volunteer citizen scientists offered us 280 hours of their own time to aid in documenting observations in our natural areas. When I look back at everything that was accomplished, it amazes me and feels a little surreal, as I'm sure it does for many of you. The year was frankly a blur in many respects because we've had very little time to act intentionally like we're used to, as we were constantly reacting, reacting to new information, resetting expectations, and reevaluating priorities. Reflecting on that, it highlights for me that the processes we've been building the last several years allow us to be operationally flexible and enables us to quickly evaluate data and communication options that had we been without, would have limited our service delivery. We don't always do things perfectly and 2020 is a great example of that outlier, but that keeps us humble so we can continue to strive for another gold medal. And it teaches us we can all try to learn from experiences when things don't go according to plan. We learned so much about our resiliency and we should all hold our heads up. Our plans for 2021 are ready for what's next. What unique community engagement strategies we can employ. Who will visit our reimagined parks? How will the Monon Greenway expansion evolve? And when can we engage the next innovative data management tool? Let's keep going, keep chasing the challenges. Let's step up to what's next.